What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be climbing into Master Ball with Basculegion. Basculegion is the new, it's not new, but it's the new water type. Because with Urshifu gone, everyone was thinking at first that it would be Palafin, myself included. But no, I'm pretty sure now it's Basculegion. This thing's insane. This is a swift swim set with choice band Terra Water with Wave Crash, Flip Turn, Aqua Jet, and Last Respects. This Terra Water Wave Crash in the rain does just absurd damage. Knockout resists if you want, it's fine. Flip Turn is surprisingly strong and it can actually like Oko stuff, which is just absurd on its own. And then Last Respects gaining power, it can be up to 200 power if Basque Legion's the last thing left. Uh, versus uh, 50 if nothing on your side has gone down yet. The rest of this team is just a rain team. We got Pelipper, standard Pelipper with Sash. Amoongus, pretty standard. This one's Terra Fairy, and it has Protect, so there's no clear smog. But this team can handle Dondozo. There's a few answers to it. You can decide Pollen Puff while you're in Cinderroar Cycles, or you can get Last Respects boosted enough to just knock out a Dondozo, basically. Uh, and then we have our Chaladon, pretty standard. King Gambit's not so standard. Uh, but I like it. It's a good set. It's the Terra Dark, two dark moves, black glasses, and swords dance. Gotta love it. Uh, but anyways, this team was made by Sempra, so I'll make sure to link them in the description. Go check them out. Uh, they have a better description of this team and why they, how they built it the way they did. But anyways, let's jump into these battles. Okay, we've got a Dondozo team with Palmot, Golden Go, Dragonite, Talonflame. Very scary, but a pretty common core. I know what we need to do against Dondozo is pivot Incineroar in and out with Terra and heal it with Amoongus. First we gotta get through their lead, which is gonna be something scary. For that something scary, I wanna have Basque Legion, maybe Pelipper, Incin Amoongus. King Gambit doesn't seem that great except against Golden Go. Our Chaladon is just alright, like it's good into Talonflame. It's okay into Dragonite. Dondozo will ignore all our boosts, and if they go Terra Grass, mm. kind of want the weather for Basque Legion. It's Basque Legion, then if they set Tailwind, they have to be a fast Golden Go to keep up, and maybe they are, maybe they're not. Maybe I can Aqua Jet and prevent them from getting Tailwind at all. But we'll figure it out as it goes. Depends on what they bring. Oh, cool Zorark. We've got Talonflame Gold Dango. Honestly, Incineroar is so safe to swap in here that I'm just going to do it. Do I match Tailwind? I don't think there's any point in matching Tailwind. I think I'm happy to just Weather Ball their Goldango. Pelipper isn't the most important piece here. Honestly, uh, I guess they could here. I couldn't see them doubling up into Pelipper. That'd be crazy. Then you're just ignoring Basque Legion, who can KO either of your moms. I don't see it. I think it's probably a Tailwind Shadow Ball. Maybe even a Terra from either of these. Oh, seeing a Terra would be beautiful. Show me one. Yeah! That means I can spore Dondozo if it's in the back. Though it might not be. Terra Steel. Oh, are they going for Make It Rain? Or is this just a defensive Terra for a Ghost move? Set Tailwind, that's fine. A thunderbolt into what is now Incin. Fine by me. Take a weather ball. Nice. Alright, now I think I want to fake out Golden Go and weather ball that slot again. Do I think Hurricane can do it from there? They're at a little under a third. Hurricane is a little less than half an hour. I think Fake Out plus Hurricane does it. Are they gonna swap? They might not. And Weather Ball does fine damage into a swap anyway. Yeah, that's fine. 
They did not swap, so Weather Ball was a fine choice. There's a Brave Bird from Talonflame. Should do a Oh, it doesn't even do half to Pelipper. Thank you, Intimidate. Golden Go flinches, and we can remove it from the field. Thank you. Thank you for using your Terra for absolutely no reason. You were just scared of a ghost move, and I wasn't using a ghost move that turn. I don't think a ghost move would have even have been the call there. I guess maybe if I had Phantom Force or something. Alright, here's Gondoza. Time to get out. Uh, could swap instant into a Moongus. Would there be ever, any, ever be a point of tailwinding? Probably not. Yeah, I want to just hard swap into a Moongus and hit a Hurricane onto Dondozo. Yeah, I, I figured they had to swap Talonflame there. Like, there's no point in trying to get a free hit off just to risk your Talonflame. Hello, Tatsu. And that is the red Tatsugiri? Is that the defense boosting one? That could be a little scary with, like, body press. Because my plan was to intimidate Cycle, but if they don't care about intimidate because they're clicking body press... I guess we have two ghosts and an Amoongus. Incineroar being one of the ghosts, eventually. And they don't have Terra anymore, which is beautiful. Uh, just wave pressure to our Pelipper? I'm okay if that takes us out. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. Let me see your item. I, I want to know if I need to knock you off. You do have leftovers. Okay. I'll knock you off eventually. First, have an Intimidate. Unless you're oblivious. If you're oblivious, this gets a lot harder. Okay. Looks like they are unaware. So first, I'm going to start with a side Pollen Puff and fake out Dondozo. They probably protect. That's why I'm going for this side pollen. Yeah. You, you gotta protect on the fake out turn. Now, does plus one wave crash knock out Terra Ghost and Cineroar from full health? And is the rain still up? These are the important questions. Uh, their Tailwind is gone, that didn't really matter much. Last turn of rain. My play needs to be Spore, Terra, definitely Spore, Terra, and I'm wondering if I go Parting Shot first or Knock Off first. I'm gonna go with Knock Off. I wanna get rid of their leftovers. Uh, I am worried about the plus one wave crash into Incineroar here. It could have been Rage Powder this turn into Parting Shot. And then next turn, bring Incineroar back in when the rain's gone, get another Intimidate, and then Spore. I think maybe I should have done that. Oh no, Incineroar goes down. Okay, wrong play. Definitely made the wrong play. Not good, not good, not good. Should have been Rage Powder that turn to get rid of the rain. Get another attack drop. Mm, uh oh. Alright, we have one turn of sleep guaranteed. We are choice banding into a move now. All they have left is Talonflame and Tatsugiri, though, so it's not too bad. Got a quick Pollen Puff. And last respects. They're gonna be faster than us. Good to know. How much does this do? Huge chunk, actually. Beautiful chunk of damage.
Last Respects might knock them out, in which case I want to click Spore to sleep the Tatsugiri, just in case we knock them out. Alright, they stay asleep this turn. Last Respects does knock them out. Beautiful. Tatsugiri will go to sleep. So we can get a free hit. I think maybe I Rage Powder and Last Respects into Tasigiri. Is there a chance Talonflame has goggles on this team? I guess it could. I could also protect my Amoongus to get a Rage Powder next turn. Uh, but I'd be more worried about them like burning Basket Legion. So I'm going to Rage Powder. Click Last Respects into Tatsugiri, who cannot move this turn, unless they have Sleep Talk. Which isn't uncommon on Tatsugiri. It's definitely a thing. And Goggle Talonflame is also a thing, so this could go wrong. Tatsugiri's asleep. Are you Sleep Talking? They are not. Alright, they could Flare Blitz into Amoongus, fine. We actually live. Amazing. And then let's see if the Tatsugiri was... Oh, it should be Scarf, because they were sleeping before Talonflame. So they should be gone. Yeah! Basket Legion! Clean up! Oh, this mod is insane. Alright, I see no reason not to Rage Powder again. And click the Last Respects again. Talonflame cannot stop that. Unless they were Goggles this whole time and they, like, crit Brave Bird into us. I don't know if that would be nearly enough. They did click Brave Bird, but it goes into Amoongus. Because of that change up, I'm thinking that was into Basque Legion. So they're not goggles. And Last Respects cleans it up. Woo! With a critical hit. Basque Legion knows he's the man here. Woo! Love this fish. This thing's crazy. Wow. Comeback potential. Good game. All right, we've got all oh, a Hitmonchan. What? They have Archaladon, Pelipper, same as us. They have Incineroar, same as us. They also have Scizor, which is very cool, and Toxtricity, which is very cool. Hitmonchan? I don't know what that does. I think it gets Fake Out and maybe Wide Guard. I don't know. Basque Legion looks like it can Oko five of those Pokemon under the right conditions. Uh, Basque Legion's amazing here. Against their Archaladon, I want to either use King Gambit, but I really fear what that Hitmonchan's gonna do, or I guess my own Archaladon, so I can just use my own Archaladon. I can actually lead Basque Legion Archaladon, Pelipper in the back. Um, do I like Pelipper? I don't hate Pelipper. Toxtricity actually seems really scary though. What do I have for that? They could, like, Wide Guard and Boom Burst. They could use Overdrive. That could do a ton. I don't have a Fire Move on Insin, so I don't think my own Insin is the play. I also think Hitmonchan gets, like, Inner Focus, maybe? Maybe Amoongus is the play, then. But it could also be King Gambit. They have Incineroar I can take advantage of. There's so many fighting moves, potentially. So I'm going to bring Amoongus. Amoongus can support Basque Legion and Archaladon to sleep. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I hope. I don't want to get taken down by a Hitmonchan on my way to Master Ball. That'd be crazy. I want to see what it does, though. I really hope they bring it. Ooh, Shiny Greninja. Good choice. Cool starter. I was definitely team, uh, team Froki in that game. Hitmonchan, it's here! Yes, and they brought Toxtricity. This is my Archaladon and Basque Legion. And you know what? We're all shiny. Why wouldn't we be? I'm terrified of Toxtricity. Should be faster than my Basque Legion if I don't set up Rain. So I think I click Wave Crash into Toxtricity and set up Rain. That's what I want to do. If I can take it out, then Pelipper is safe to come in. And I'm safe to have two water types on the field. If they're Sash, or if Hitmonchan can do something to stop this, Hitmonchan's not doing anything. There's no Terra. 
Toxtricity just faints. Okay, that's beautiful. I, I, now I get to see what Hitmonchan's all about. I like taking that out, though. Drain Punch. Okay, into the Pelipper swap in. Cool. I'm fine with that. You have Drain Punch Hitmonchan. Alright, I think it's, it, maybe it's Iron Fist. And here's your Archaladon. That could Electro Slot... Electro Shot either one of my Pokemon here. I would love to be able to flip turn out here, but I think what I need to do is bring in our Chaladon on the Basque Legion slot and try to get Tailwind up, or should I just attack Hitmonchan? Because I should be faster than there are Chaladon. So maybe I should try to get a hit in now, or I could protect Pelipper. I think it's better to try to get a hit in now. I'm gonna throw a Hurricane at Hitmonchan. I guess. Uh, I don't want to start stacking stamina boosts on their Archaladon. So I will need Chip eventually. Uh, Hitmonchan swaps. I was worried about that. I was worried about a swap and then, then taking out Pelipper and then I no longer have Hurricane. But they just send in their own Pelipper. If I can get a Hurricane onto the Pelipper, that's great. Especially if they're Sash. Ooh, they took that really well. I don't think they're Sash. I think they're a bulky Pelipper. Does that mean Hitmonchan can be Sash? I don't know. I don't know what Hitmonchan's gonna do. Oh, excellent. That's into RR Taladon. Perfect. What I really want to do is get rid of their Pelipper. So I'm gonna Electro Shot there. And I would like to get a Moongus in so I can start healing my own Archaladon up. But I don't know if I want to swap in when there could be a Hurricane coming at my Pelipper. So I'm gonna Electro Shot their Pelipper. And just protect this turn. We could bait out a Protect from their Pelipper if they want one. Oh! We're faster than, their, than both of their Pokemon with our Archaladon. That's great. Oh, that must be a really slow, bulky Pelipper. Or it's just speed crept to this exact point. There could be some speed ties going around here. I think we're exactly 107, which is a very popular benchmark for a lot of Pokemon. All right, please try to hit my Pelipper. Give me a free... I guess it's not free. They still get a special attack boost. Yeah, cool. Into Pelipper. Now, I could try to hit their Hitmonchan with my Pelipper. Do I gain anything from not going Terra Grass? I don't want to get hit by super effective fighting. I already have a plus one defense. I don't think I need Terra Water. I definitely don't need Terra Fairy Amoongus. I don't think I need Stellar Pelipper. Grass makes me more vulnerable to Steel moves, but I don't really care much about that. Yeah, I'll go Terra Grass. Electro shot their Hitmonchan. And bring in Amoongus now. Because I'm worried Hitmonchan is going to like fake out Pelipper and then they double into it with Electro Shot. Though, to be fair, I don't really need Pelipper anymore. I just want. Sorry about that. Just dropped something. I just want Amoongus on the field. Now that I've got Amoongus on the field, feeling pretty good. Alright, there's our Terra Grass. Are they gonna Terrastalize at all in this match? Not yet. Alright, it was a fake out. I, I know something about Hitmonchan. It gets fake out. I still don't know if they're Inner Focus or Iron Fist or a third ability I don't know about. But they're no longer on the field, so bye Hitmonchan. Here comes an Electro Shot from them. That might be into Pelipper. Especially if they're going to fake out Pelipper the turn after it protected. Ooh, big damage. Ouchie. That thing's stacking way too high. How many boosts do I have on my Archaladon? I have two special attack boosts. 
Last turn of rain. I can bring in Basque Legion later. I'm gonna go for Electro Shot. I just want Chip. I don't know if I should even go for a Spore. They could be grass. Ah, they could just be not the right Terra. So I'm gonna click Spore into them. All right, they are terrestrializing. Looks like they were grass. I have seen Fairy Terra running around. Oh, they're electric. Oh, they want to delete Amoongus. That's a fair play too. This makes you vulnerable to Wave Crash, though. I don't even need to last respects. I think Wave Crash can do a lot more damage with the Rain Boost, especially because I haven't lost a Pokemon yet. Good damage, though. Wow. Yeah, here's their Electro Shot. They get another special attack boost, and now they have Stab, which is a big difference maker. That can take out Amoongus or our Chaladon, maybe. Our Chaladon's a maybe. I think it can take out Amoongus. Yeah, that's what they're going for. That's fine. Fine by me. You're now neutral to water, though. So Pelipper can just come in and hit you with a Weather Ball. Because we know you're slower than our Archaladon, which is 107. Pelipper's 117. Yeah. The Weather Ball might be able to do most of the, your remaining health, honestly. They've got one defense boost, four special attack. We've got one defense boost, three special attack. Yeah, uh, I'm good with Electro Shot. It's my strongest 100% accurate move. And Weather Ball, the Archaladon. Does Weather Ball do it? I think it'll be close. Yeah, it takes it. Beautiful. Good job, Pelipper. And Basque Legion was there. He was in the back waiting. He took a big KO turn one. This would have been crazy hard if Toxtricity was still in town. Good game. That was a good game. I like seeing Terra Electric Archaladon, it's different. Here we've got a Pelipper, a Basque Legion, an Archaladon, and an Amoongus. Four of the same. Uh, they have Gallade and Golden Go, though, instead of the our Incineroar King Gambit. King Gambit seems pretty good. I want to respect Amoongus in some way. Basque Legion versus Basque Legion is funny. Uh, I don't think our Chaladon's the play, or King Gamut. Gallade is actually really scary for both of those. Incineroar, though, with Terra Ghost, is pretty good into Gallade, is pretty good into Golden Go. The water, the rain team is pretty bad, but it's good into Amoongus, too, so I actually like Incineroar. Could even lead Incineroar Basque Legion, or I could lead our Chaladon Basque Legion, have Incin and Pelipper to swap to. You know, I don't hate an Incineroar lead with Basque Legion. Pelipper Archaladon in the back. I could also trust them to bring their own Pelipper. But then what would I bring? Amoongus? I don't want Amoongus, really. I think Pelipper actually does some good stuff offensively here. It can hit Gallade, it can hit Amoongus, it can hit Pelipper. And that Weather Ball ain't no joke. Like, even if you resist it, that can do some damage. It can, it can like three shot our Chaladon if you're if you're not super bulky, or at least get some chip onto it. And they've got a coughing on their card. Cool. That's cool. What's your lead? Gallade Amoongus. Ooh, nice. And we get the Intimidate on the Gallade, which is awesome. I'm going to go straight for Terra Ghost, Taunt Amoongus. And I'm questioning whether I want to flip turn the Gallade or just Wave Crash it outright. Taunt Amoongus, no. Terra, Taunt Amoongus. I'm gonna click flip turn. It could be a rage powder this turn. All right, here's our Terra. I don't know if Incineroar is just faster than their mons. They could be a min speed delayed. That's pretty common, but they're not exactly a trick room team. Maybe they're a trick room team in disguise. All right, we get the 
flip turn, it was not Rage Powder. It does huge damage. Wow. That move is crazy. And because I think it would not be a Sacred Sword into Basque Legion, I can bring in our Talon on here. And we can see the speed interaction at least between Gallade and Incineroar. Yeah, Gallade is faster than Incineroar. Incineroar is faster than Moongus. We get a Taunt. Just don't show me Mental Earth. Cool. You cannot Spore after the Taunt. Beautiful. Now I want to hit a knockoff over onto Gallade. I don't want to get Sacred Sorted on my Arch. But I also think they can easily read our Chaladon swapping out. Our Chaladon could also be faster than their Gallade. Our Incineroar is only 80 speed. That's slower than neutral Gallade. But yeah, I want to go for a knockoff onto Gallade. And I'll swap into Pelipper, actually. It can take a Sacred Sword. If they switch it up and get like a crit cycle cut, I don't lose a big piece. Pelipper's great, but it's the most losable Mon because it has the Sash. Okay, it was just a Sacred Sword. That's a good swap then. It's not as good as Basket Legion, but it's fine. And then we take out Gallade, which I assume was like Scope Lens or something if it wasn't... Oh, it's Black Belt. Oh! They really want that Sacred Sword to hit. Okay, and they tried to heal Gallade. Cool. Ooh, so minus one Black Belt Sacred Sword? I don't know if Arch was safe from that. Yikes. And here's their own Arch Haladon. I think I'll hit them with a Parting Shot. Bring in my own Archaladon. How's the Amoongus doing? Last turn of Taunt. I could also knock off their Assault Vest. Which I think is better. And then bring in my own Archaladon. That way my Incineroar is on the field to Taunt Amoongus next turn. Which is great. Especially because I no longer have Terra Grass available on my Archaladon. They're just going for an Electro Shot. That's not a big surprise. Those things love to click Electro Shot, and I had a Pelipper on the field. Oh, but they're going after Instinct. Fine. Actually, that did over half. Wow, nice. That hurt. Which means you can actually take out my Incineroar before I taunt you again. And just to clear Smog onto my Instinct. Shook off the taunt. You can electro shot my ensign if you want to. You could also rage powder so that I can't hit your Archalot on this turn. This is kind of a tough position, actually. I'm gonna try to taunt a Moongus and Electro Shot their Archaladon. Okay, it is a Rage Powder. That makes sense. We see that their Archaladon is faster than ours. Interesting. Once we get some chip onto their Amoongus with this Electro Shot. It should be in range of a Hurricane. But we can also bait it and just like protect our Pelipper. And if we start losing pieces, we can start having really powerful... Well, that didn't do much at all, but that should still be in range. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring in Pelipper. Probably just as bait. They did not Terra yet, but we did take out one piece. I can just protect. I could just protect and try to Draco their Archaladon. I think that's what I want to go for here. Because I think they might want to just protect their Amoongus and take out my Pelipper.
Worst case here is they call this Don't Terra and just Rage Powder again. Yeah, that would be really bad, actually. Um, I guess if they do want to Terra their Amoongus. Most Amoonguses are weak to Electro Shot. Yeah, they're not Terrestrializing Amoongus. They are going for Rage Powder, though. Oh, man. That's rough. They miss with their Draco. We connect ours. And we take out Amoongus. That's great. I'll take that. I'll take the Draco dodge and the Draco hit. <laughs> Don't mind that too much. Now Pelipper can probably get a hit off on... Their Golden Go. Yeah, I'd like that. Last turn of rain. Our Basque Legion is 130. So I want to swap Pelipper out into Basque Legion, not a shot. I want to set up Tailwind. I'm at minus one. Get that back up to neutral with an Electro Shot into their Golden Go. Yeah, I think that's the play. We are the fastest on the field with Pelipper. That's awesome. That means we don't actually need the rain so much anymore. Because our Basque Legion will be fastest. Under Tailwind. And if we lose Pelipper here, we get a boosted power on our uh, last respects, which is beautiful. Alright, neutral Electro Shot. Fine damage. About a third to Golden Go. Golden Go uses Shadow Ball. Pelipper should drop to that. Especially if it's a crit. Don't know if your specs are not. I would love to know if your specs are not. The Draco Meteor connects this time. Our Chalanon just barely eats, but does eat it. Perfect. Rain is gone. No more Electro Shots. Alright, Basque Legion. We got two lost Pokemon. So you now have a 150 power last respects. Which is great. They have one defense boost over on their Archaladon. We are neutral on our Archaladon, plus one defense though. I think it's Last Respects, Golden Go, Draco, Archaladon. Neutral Draco might do it here. Last Respects definitely would take Golden Go. The fear would they would would be they them having protect. Uh, Archaladon Terra into grass. That doesn't change anything. That's fine. We get the last respect into Golden Go. Golden Gone. Thank you. And Draco Meteor connects and takes out their Archaladon with a crit. Let's go, Archaladon. <laughs> Woo. There was some there was some luck going on in that game, I'm not gonna lie. We dodged a Draco, we crit a Draco. There was some good stuff going on there, but that was a that was a fun game. GG's to my opponent. Okay, we've got Blood Moon Ursaluna, Amoongus, Female Indeedy, Archaladon, Pelipper, Golden Go. There's a Trick Room component to that team, and Didi's the only setter. Basque Legion goes pretty hard. Our Chaladon with Terra Grass, specifically, can do pretty well. You just gotta time the Terra Grass, because you don't want to get spored by Amoongus. You don't want to get Earth Powered by the Ursa Luna. But our Chaladon's fine here. King Gambit? Actually, not bad. I should consider a King Gambit. It's good against Golden Go. Might scare the Golden Go away entirely. My own Amoongus, I don't like at all. Incineroar, I don't hate, but I don't love. I think it might just be Rain Squad plus King Gambit. Just gotta pick an order. I think King Gambit in front. Oh, Safety Goggles Ensign actually isn't too bad. Only knockoff is attacking though. Basque Legion in front. Archaladon in front. Pelipper, King Gambit in back. I think that could work.
My only concern here is I'm not bringing enough spore immunities. Incineroar is great into Amoongus. Safety goggles, fake out, taunt. So much going on there. That's a decent card. I hope I don't regret not bringing Incin. Because the King Gambit slot. Oh, they did bring Golden Go too. That's cool. is Psychic Seed in DD. Alright, getting King Gambit in is the plan. So I'm going to flip turn the Ndidi. Ah, uh, do I risk that or do I harden the King Gambit? Because a timid Shadow Ball could mess me up pretty bad. They can outspeed. So I think I'm going to hard swap into King Gambit, even though I don't love that. And just hit Ndidi with a Flash Cannon. And if they want to set up Trick Room, be my guest. Probably should have flipped turned though. There's so much damage poten potential there. Ndidi just swaps. Into their own Arch Haladon. Okay. I feel you. This is a Shadow Ball into my Arch Alibi. Cool with that. Not cool with giving you a free defense boost. Ooh, a special defense drop I can deal with, though. I think King Gambit's gonna scare out Golden Go. So maybe I can go into Pelipper here. I think they might want to body press the King Gambit. I could go into Pelipper on that slot and try to take advantage of the special defense drop on that Archaladon and hit it with a Draco Meteor or just start boosting with Electro Shot. Yeah, I'll throw an Electro Shot in the Golden Go slot. Golden Go isn't swapping though. <laughs> That I find a little strange. Just clicking Shadow Ball again. And we're faster with our Archaladon, that's great. How much can we do to this? Golden Go should live about 75%. Cool. And they body press into RR Chaladon, taking it out. Wow. With a crit. Okay, yeah. I think you needed that crit. I'm leaning toward Basque Legion flip turn. But sending out King Gambit isn't the worst. Losing our Chaladon's pretty rough. I'm going to Basque Legion, and I'm going to flip turn their Golden Go. The way they're just attacking, I think they're just a choice spec set. And I'll throw a Weather Ball into our Child on. That'll do pretty decent damage, actually. Flip turn out on their Golden Go. Come safe. Knock out Golden Go. King Gambit can take an Electro Shot. I'd rather take an Electro Shot than a Body Press. And if they read this in Body Press, well, good for them. But I would expect Pelipper to be faster than their Archaladon. Our Archaladon is faster, so yeah, we're definitely gonna get some damage off before we get hit. Good damage, too. Not enough to put it in range for the next one, but pretty good. As long as our Archaladon gets low on health, we can always finish it off with Basket Legion at some point. And that wasn't in a Pelipper, we keep our Sash. But King Gambit takes so much damage. Oh boy. There's Indeedee. Fine. I need to know King Gambit's speed stat. 70. Alright, so we can get above our Chaladon with a Tailwind. Okay. 
How many turns of rain are left? Three? That's probably enough. Tailwind. Kowtow cleave their Ndidi. We're gonna see a Terra here, though. Ah, oh, I should have protected King Gambit. Yeah, they got Fairy Terra. That's obnoxious. Oh, uh, do we lose the game on that? Because we've got Basket Legion. And we've got Pelipper. It depends on who they hit here. If they take out King Gambit, we could be in a lot of trouble. But they hit Pelipper. I think that's actually better. If nothing gets knocked out this turn. Would be ideal. Oh, but they do set Trick Room. A little annoying. Okay, I, I lied. That's not a little annoying. That's the most annoying thing possible. Can we still win this? Psychic Terrain's about to wear off, so we could Sucker Punch, but we can't Sucker Punch as long as Ndidi's around. Pelipper's not gonna last. We can Double Protect for now. But there's nothing that- there's no reason they can't just attack King Gambit with like Electro Shot, and then hit Pelipper with whatever Ndidi has. Yeah, body press into King Gambit makes sense. And you have Dazzling Gleam. Weirdness is gone, that means I can Sucker Punch. Which means you might use Follow Me. Which means there's a chance for Pelipper to get a hit off. Last turn of rain. So I need to make this hit count. Stellar Weather Ball into Archaladon. Switch into Basket Legion. If I catch a Body Press and a Follow Me, that'd be really great. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen though. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, Pelipper, you got this. Last turn of rain. They might expect you to swap out, even. They're attacking with both. And they're clicking Electro Shot. This is gonna be a double KO, isn't it? Yeah. GG. Oh, man. That is a rough one. My child then got taken out too early, and then I guess they must have read me going for Tailwind that turn they trick room, because King Gambit would have been the slowest thing on the field. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> there's no way King Gambit's gonna bring this back. Indeed, he can just click Follow Me, or I can just click Dazzling Gleam. I don't have a Steel Move to hit it with. So I'm gonna run this one. Good game to my opponent. All right, we've got a Palafin team. Palafin, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Firewater, Grass Core. They also have Whimsicott for Tailwind, Pawmot, and Glamora. Very aggressive uh, with the with the Glamora, Pawmot, Whimsicott. Though a little passive with some fake outs and Palafin. Basket Legion can't get faked out, but it can get grassy glided. Our Chaladon does really well into most of those, except the Palmot. If we go for Terra Grass, we're weak to Sludge Bomb, so we kind of want to get rid of Glamora. Not a big fan of King Gambit here, though they do have an Intimidate Mon. Our Chaladon's great. Incineroar's pretty good, too. A lot of things that can be Intimidated. I'm guessing not a lot that can be spored though. They have two grass types and probably a goggle somewhere, and maybe even grass terra on Glamora or Palafin. Though Amoongus is great into Palafin if they don't have terra grass or safety goggles. 
think I will do Incineroar. Basket Legion, Archaladon, Pelipper. Because we need the weather. Uh, I just don't know which order to bring these in. I think it's actually Basket Legion, Archaladon, with Incin, Pelipper, and Bat. I think that's the right way to do it. Start getting boosts on our child on as soon as possible. I can swap in Pelipper to either slot to boost either partner. They don't have a trainer card for some reason. Fine. But as far as Palafin teams go, this looks like a really scary Palafin team. Maybe they didn't bring Palafin. Alright, Whimsicott, Glamora. Glamora is more threatening to Basque Legion than anything else. Could bring in Pelipper and Electro Shot it. Don't want to eat a Meteor Beam with my Basket Legion. And if I Aqua Jet, Incineroar can get poisoned. Yeah, I'm gonna swap in Pelipper. Is there a risk of clicking Electro Shot? Would they have Sunny Day? No, no shot. And I'll Electroshock Glamora. I don't think there's any chance they have Sunny Day, right? That would ruin my day. They but they don't seem to have anything that takes advantage of Sun. But I could see it just being a weird tech move they have on Whimsicott just to be good in the lane. Even then, I don't know if they wanted to click it that turn. It is a Meteor Beam. Alright, Pelipper can eat it. We have a sack. A lot of our team is weak to that, though, so I'm glad they're wasting it on the Sash. Alright. We're getting a neutral Electro Shot into you, which is awesome. You didn't go for a Terra. We know you're not Sash or Assault Vest. Is this KO? No, I don't think so. If I had to guess, I'd say it doesn't. We must have some physical attackers in the back. Ooh, a crit! I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know that roll. I'll take it. <laughs> Love that. Would like to get rid of Wimmy next. I don't like to dealing with Encores. Especially on something like Archaladon. Pelipper's probably going out. It only has one HP after all. They have Tailwind up. And Wimsy got faster anyway. Here's a Palmon. Is it time to Terra Grass Archaladon? Because I think the only problem with that was the Glamora. So I actually think it's fine to burn Terra Grass now. Flash Cannon there wouldn't have happened. Palmon could revive the Glamora, actually. <laughs> There's a play. Bait me into Terra Grass, revive Glamora, hit me with a Sludge Bomb. But it's not going to be a plus one Sludge Bomb anymore. And you're only going to come back at half health, so just about anything can knock you out. I'm not too worried about that. Fake Tears onto my Archaladon. And Thunder Punch into Pel- oh fine. <laughs> I'm willing to swap Archaladon out to get rid of that Fake Tears. Do you even have another special attacker left, though? I guess you can revive your Glamora. You're definitely going to want to do that now. Do I even want to preserve my Pelipper? Well, if Rillaboom's coming in, I mean, Incineroar can come in basically for free. Not much risk there. And then I've got one special attack boost. Draco Meteor into Palma. I don't see any problem with that. Oh, battle's canceled. They're going to give it to me. Okay. We had enough momentum that they were scared. Love it. GG. And we are back. Basque Legion, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to be using some more Basque Legion, I'm sure. This is the powerhouse water type in this format, and I love it. I hope you love it too. There's a rental code for you up in the top. Uh, 
climbing into Master Ball was not too hard with this. So go ahead and do it yourself. If, you, if you're struggling to get to Master Ball, this is a high meta team that is really powerful. And I get it if you don't like Archaladon and don't want to use this team. That's fine. I understand. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.